do have one unheard message. First unheard message. Need you or your retained attorney of record to return the call. The issue at hand is extremely time sensitive. I am Officer Heather Gray from Internal Revenue Service and the hotline to my division is 760-284-4628. I repeat, it's 760-284-4628. Don't disregard this message and do return the call before we take any action against you. Goodbye and take care. End of message. Internal Revenue Service, how can I help you? I just got a call from you guys. Yes, okay. I'm calling you back? Yes. Okay, sir. The reason why we have called you is to take down your attorney's information. As my what? Legal I'm sorry, I don't understand you. You take my what? The reason why we have called you is to take down your attorney's information as there is a legal lawsuit filed against you by the IRS. <laughs> so do you have any criminal attorney no. who can represent you into the local courthouse? No. Are you not aware that IRS is filing a lawsuit against you? Okay. For what? Shall I explain it, what is this all about and what's going on? Yes, please. Okay, so before that, I want to notify you that these lines have been recorded and monitored by the IRS, as well as the local authorities of your state. Okay. So do not interrupt me while I'm speaking. And listen to me very carefully because we're running really short of time. If you have any questions, you can ask me once I'm done. All okay. Right? All right. Go ahead. Then tell me what's going on. What do I have to do? Now, we have done an audit on your tax filing between the years of 2011 and 2015. And we found out that under subsection 2.1, your taxes and general interest charge of rupees $5,998. Okay, so paid. can you just let me know, am I supposed to pay you or, or what? What am I supposed to do? Send a check to the IRS or what? Exactly what do you need from me? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just listen carefully. Right. Okay, go ahead. Don't interrupt me. Don't, don't interrupt me while I'm speaking. We have discovered a strong evidence that this was not a result of an innocent negligence, and rather we have a reason to believe that it was a willful act done with an intention to defraud the IRS. That is the reason why there is a legal issue against you with the four serious allegation on your name. Okay. Are you um are you just reading this off a piece of paper or is this something that you already know about? I mean, are you reading like a script or something? I'm not sure. Are you customer service? Uh IRS agent? Didn't I tell you not to interrupt me when I'm Did I tell you not to be rude? By the way, I'm recording this and I want to let you know that the IRS does not call people who owe money and I don't owe you any money. So, I'm going to Turn this over to the federal government because you're running a scam on me. Do not tell me not to interrupt you. I don't owe the IRS any money, and the IRS does not call people. They send out letters, certified letters. So do you guys get like a kickback? Do you honestly have people who, who actually fall for this bullshit and send you money? Are you ripping off people already? Because I ain't falling for it. I ain't stupid. So now you want to tell me exactly what you have in mind. What do you want to do? Do you have any proof that I owe you any money at all? Oh, you all of a sudden got real quiet. See, ma'am, I believe every year you follow your taxes. You see that? You want to continue with your little spill off your, uh, your uh, script that you're holding there in front of you? You have a foreign accent, so obviously you're not even from America. Oh, so you're not talking to me now. Because you got busted. Uh -huh. Don't call me anymore. 